Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the introduction to CocoTB, and also we discussed a simple example of two cross one multiplets. And we ran that a simple test, Python test for that two cross one multiplets. And last time we got the output something like this. So as you can see here at the terminal, it was showing some warnings. So as you can see here, deprecation warnings was there okay? for at this 18 line also. Why this warnings we were getting, we will see that here in this video and how to avoid this warnings. And also in this video, I show I will show you how to print a value of a particular signal, how to read a value from that particular signal. So in, in our case, we will try to see a value of that output Y here, how to read a value of that output Y. We will try to see, and we'll try to remove this deprecation one more. Okay, so let me directly jump to the code. Okay, so the design is as it is, or to cross one multiple. And the make file is also same. We are not making any changes in this design file and the in, in the make file. We are not making any changes. While in case of this test mux.py, we are making some changes. So let me show you last time what we did and now what we are editing. Okay. So as you remember last time dot log.info is start of test we gave. Okay. So it was giving that deprecation kind of one. Instead of that, we have to give dot underscore log dot info. So this underscore log we have to give instead of log. First one. Okay. The second thing, last time we gave, we assigned the values to inputs, something like dot a is equal to zero and dot b is equal to zero. But instead of that, we have to give dot a dot value and we have to assign the value, whatever we want to assign. So remember, while we are assigning a value to a particular port of the design, we have to use this dot value, okay? And here we are, uh, you know, checking the condition. If dot y dot value is not equal to one, because we are select we are making a select value is equal to one so it should select a and a is equal to one here okay so it should uh, you know give a output is equal to one if it is not equal to one we are saying we are saying test failure else we are saying dot dot underscore log dot info pass and here we are printing the value of that y out okay so print value of y output and we are printing in terms of primary. So how to print that dot dot y meaning the output y dot value and dot b i n s t r. With this we can print the value of that uh, y in, in binary form. Similarly in another condition we are saying if when the select is equal to 0 then it has to select the value of b and here b is equal to 0. Okay? So it should give B. If it is, it is not giving output not equal to zero, meaning it should give this test failure. Else it should print the value, uh, it, it should print the pass kind of message using dot dot underscore log dot info. And it should print the value of that output by using dot dot y dot value b and s2. Let me show you the output over here. Okay. So as you can see, those warnings are not here. Those deprecation warnings. Okay. These warnings are not here, deprecation warnings. So you can see the start of test is there. Okay, at zero time unit. You can see this is start of test. After one time unit, one nanosecond, here especially nanosecond, we are assigning A and B zero. Okay. And you can see drives zero to a and b signals of two cross one after two time unit 
we are assigning a is equal to 1 and select is equal to 1. So it should select a and a is equal to 1 here. Okay. If it is not 1, it should arise test failure, else it should pass and print the value of y. So you can see over here, we are driving 1 to select line. Okay. And 1 a is also 1. So it should print a meaning 1. So test is passing and the output y is equal to Similarly, in the second case, okay, while select is equal to 0, it should take the value y is equal to b and b is equal to 0, right? Here, b is equal to 0. But if it is not 0, then test failure, else pass and print the value of one. So as you can see, driving 0 to select input of 2 plus 1 minus, the test is passing and the value of y is b, which is 0. And you can see the test is passing. Let me show you the shortcut here how you can dump that into GTK. Okay. If you give ls over here, you find this dump.vsv. Now GTK wave and just we have to give dump.vsv. It will open that directly. Double click over here, select all signal, append. And just you know minimize these things. you can see and you can also so while z equal to unknown whatever the value of a and b output should be zero you can see over here while select is equal to one it should select a and a is equal to one so y is equal to b. while select is equal to zero it should select b and b is equal to zero so y is equal to zero so you can observe the waveform something like this okay so with this i hope you have understood how we can remove those duplication warnings and how to print a value of a particular port, how to read a value from that particular state of a particular port. And also I hope you have enjoyed this one. So thanks for watching. Thank you.